Hello everyone. We are going to begin a new course uh, named Electrical Measurements and Electronic Instruments uh, in uh, NPTEL, uh, which I believe is going to be a uh, fun for many of us because this subject itself is very interesting and funny. We will discover a lot of funny physical uh, phenomena in this subject. For example, uh, let me show you a small experiment. So, I have uh, here um, a pencil fixed on a stand. I have an aluminum sheet rolled into a cylinder. So, this is an aluminum sheet. Okay. This is aluminum, this is not magnet and one side of uh, this cylinder is uh, covered with transparent tapes, so that I can hang this cylinder on top of this pencil and this then this cylinder can turn around this pencil. Now, I have a piece of magnet, this is from a broken toy and uh, let me prove that this is a magnet. So, I have a bunch of keys, so this is a magnet, you see it is attracted. So, that means it is a magnet. Okay. So, I have a magnet, but this is an aluminum sheet, this is not a magnet. So, let me show that this is not uh, attracted. Okay. See, nothing happens, it falls. So, it is not magnet, it is aluminum and aluminum is, is sorry, I mean it is not magnetic, it is neither magnetic nor a magnet, it is aluminum, it is a conductor, but non-magnetic. So, the magnet does not attract this aluminum cylinder. Now, let us see what happens if I put this cylinder on this stand, pencil stand and then I hold this magnet beside, uh, beside this, uh, let me, okay. so I am holding it beside this cylinder without touching it, notice carefully there is a gap. Now, I will slightly move this magnet or slide this magnet like this without touching this cylinder and you see the cylinder is also turning. So, there is a force, there is a force between this magnet and this aluminum cylinder, they are not touching each other, okay. yet there is a force between this magnet and this, uh, this aluminum cylinder and uh, this is not a magnetic material. So, you cannot say that a magnetic material is attracted by a magnet, it is not so, it is a non-magnetic conductor. So, how is it happening? So, the phenomena is called eddy current motoring, we will dis uh, discuss more about it uh, in this course uh, when we study induction energy meters. Many of you have seen such energy meters uh, particularly in old houses. Nowadays, we all use electronic meters, but uh, old energy meters be work based on this principle of AD current motoring. Often, the odometers or speedometers in cars, they work based on this principle of AD current motoring. So, this is a nice phenomena from physics, you might have studied this already in school maybe or not. Uh, in the course of measurement, we borrow such nice properties, nice phenomena from physics and make nice instruments, nice measuring instruments which can measure energy, speed, a lot of things. So, this subject is going to be quite interesting, particularly for uh, many of us who love physics, who love a bit of maths also. Okay. So, for this course, what we need as our background, so uh, background required is not much, we need only love for physics. and a bit of maths, 
it's enough if you know high school physics, high school electromagnetism, laws or uh, rules like uh, force equal to BIL, EMF generated is FLV. So, these simple rules are enough to understand this subject, but you have to understand and this is going to be very interesting. We may need a bit of uh, circuit theory, which you might have studied in your uh, first year engineering courses. So normal circuit theory like uh, um, Thevenin's uh, theorem, uh, KCL, KVL, uh, Ohm's law and so simple things. So, we do not need uh, too much complicated things. Uh, this subject is going to be very easy and interesting, I believe. And this subject will have broadly two parts. The first part will cover classical electrical measurements. like we will study uh, classical electromechanical ammeters, how they work, voltmeters, galvanometers or similar things and uh, their dynamics we shall study. Then we shall study um, about what are the crucial minute things, minute cares uh, we should uh, have while say measuring uh, some energy uh, consumed in some load or uh, uh, resistance. We will study bridges, AC bridges, DC bridges. So, basically we will study, let me write some important topics, uh, classical electromechanical instruments, their dynamics, we shall study voltmeter, ammeter, ohm meter, energy meter, watt meter for power, ok. We shall consider in uh, uh, quite detail about the cares we should take for uh, say low or high resistance measurement. So, we shall talk about Kelvin's double bridge and similar things. Then we shall uh, talk about AC bridges. Okay. So, we shall talk about inductance, capacitance measurement and so on. So, this will be the roughly the first part of our course. Then in the second part, we will study electronic instruments. Okay. Here, we will study uh, we will begin this part by first uh, motivating you why uh, electronic instruments are uh, required or when it is required. We shall see that electronic instruments are uh, better for measuring uh, voltages and currents of lower magnitude than what we can measure with classical electromechanical instruments. We shall talk about electronic voltmeters, ammeters, uh, ohmmeters. We shall talk about uh, analog to digital converter, digital to analog converter. We shall talk about uh, a lot of op amp based circuits. So, if you are familiar with op amps, it will help you a lot. If not, no problem, we will learn this in this course. So, we will learn a lot of op amp based circuits in this uh, in this part electronic instruments. Okay. Uh, then, 
So, we will learn uh, say electronic voltmeters and other meters. So, we will learn different types like uh, ramp type, uh, these names if you are not familiar with right now do not bother no problem we will learn all of this uh, then dual slope type etcetera. I am just mentioning some names so that if you are if you have already gone through uh, a similar course elsewhere uh, then it will help you in identifying what are the common things uh, which we will learn again in this course. Okay. So, we shall la learn a lot of electronic instruments and yeah of course I need not write all these detailed things because uh, you can see all these detailed topics uh, right uh, in our web page in the course page where the detailed course syllabus is given. So, I need not uh, write all these topics again. Now, few things I would like to mention uh, I would request you is that uh, we have a study group or a forum ok. So, in your web page if you see there is a tab called uh, ask a question right on the top. So, see there there is a option ask a question go there and join the forum or study group ok. This will be very helpful because if you have any question any doubt any query you can post it there we will be periodically checking your questions and answering as much as we can. Uh, we will have uh, our friends assisting us in this course, they will also look at the questions and answer to your questions. Other students can also answer to your questions and in this way we can learn together. You will learn from NPTEL as well as we will learn from you, we will learn together and the learning will become a fun for all of us. Also we will have regular quizzes, every week we will have one quiz. So, the, this course will run for 12 weeks which means 12 quizzes and this will be used for evaluating your score. So, we will normally take 8 best scores out of 12 scores. I again request you if you have any doubt any query about the quiz please post your query in the forum. We will try to answer your query clear your doubt because when uh, making questions we often cannot think what are the different related questions you may have in your mind. So, please ask those questions before answering uh, be because once you answer and submit the quiz then it is very difficult to change anything technically. So, but if you ask your queries, your doubts before uh, submitting your answer, this will be very helpful for all of us and also for your friends. Also, when you are watching a video, just like you are watching a video now, if you uh, see below this video, there is a button called ask a question or something similar, a gray button, a black blackish button called ask a question. So, when you are watching a video, if you have any doubt when we are discussing a topic, just like in a classroom you can raise your hand and ask the teacher any question when he or she is teaching something. Similarly, in this video based course, when you are watching a video, if you have any query immediately press that button ask a question. Okay. If you press that button ask a question and write your question in the question tab or in the text box, then the, those questions will come to us along with the time of uh, in the video where this doubt is created. So, that we can go back to that video and immediately identify what has caused this doubt. Otherwise, you can also post your queries directly from the forum, but then please mention where this doubt has arise, uh, 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 arise from because if you do not 
write your questions clearly, it is very difficult for us to uh, identify your problem or recognize your doubt and then we possibly cannot give you a proper answer. So, use this button ask a question right below the video. Okay? You can make you can minimize your video and see there is a button. Press that button you can ask a question immediately it is like raising your hand in a classroom. Okay? So, uh, feel free to interact with us make this course a fun by interaction and one more thing please uh, do not uh, try to memorize things because uh, memorization might not help in understanding this course because this course this course requires firstly common sense okay so a lot of common sense is required in this course uh, which we all have uh, and we just need to apply it. We often do not apply our common sense. We apply formulas, but we do not apply common sense uh, inherently. So, this course uh, require, do not require you to memorize your formulas. Uh, it requires a lot of common sense, a lot of physics or uh, some sort of physics and some, ma ma some maths. So, this is going to be a fun course, I believe. Join the course and make this a fun for all of us. Thank you.